What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at how to partition numbers, so let's waste no time, let's go. Okay, what are we going to remember today? We're going to remember to use our place value chart to help us. So let's have a go at this first example with the number 24. Well, first of all, what does partitioning mean? Partitioning is a fancy word for breaking up our number into more manageable, easy parts. So we have the number 24, which is not a big number, but it's a good starting point. But still, 24 could be quite difficult to use in a mathematical question. Say, for example, we had 24 times 24. Well, that would be very hard to work out. So we have a strategy. We have a strategy of partitioning the number. So I can partition my 24 by looking at it as four ones and two tens. So when I'm partitioning, I can split my four ones into just a single four, and I can split or partition my two tens, which would be 20. So my partitioned version of 24 would be a 20 and a four. Simple, right? And I can always make sure I've partitioned it correctly by just adding these sections back together and see if we get back to the original number. So 20 plus 4 equals 24, and 24 is the same as my original number, so I know I've done that correctly. Let's move to a slightly harder example, 749. So I can see with my 749 that I have 9 ones, I have 4 tens, and I have 7 hundreds. So therefore, when I'm partitioning, I can break this down into nine single ones, four tens, which would be 40, and seven hundreds, which would be 700. Let's make sure I've done that correctly by adding them all together again and seeing if I get back to my original number. 700 plus 40 is 740. 740 plus my nine equals 740. Nine. Is that the same answer? Yes, it is. We've done it correctly again. Okay, let's have a look at a real challenge. Let's have a look at a big number like 252,512. Whoa. Can we even partition a number like this? Well, yeah, it's just going to take a little bit longer. Here we go. Let's remember that for this number also we'll have our titles. So I have two ones, one ten. 500s, 2000s, 5 10,000s, and 200,000s. And let's just look back to our things to remember to use the place value chart to help us. This is our place value chart, and you can see how it helps us, can't you? Because we're breaking it into those sections. Okay, so let's begin partitioning using my ones first of all. I'm going to try and get as much room as I can, so I'm going to come all the way over here. How many ones do I have? Two single ones. Let's look at my tens column. How many tens do I have? I have one, so that would be a single ten. How many hundreds? Well, I have 500. Let's now look at our thousands column. How many thousands? I have two, so I have 2,000. How many ten thousands? I have five, so I don't have 10,000. I have five of them, so therefore it would be 50 thousand and then my last one how many hundred thousands do I have I have two so I have two hundred thousand whoa look at that and again I can check by just adding these all together to see if I got the correct answer or sometimes you can just read it from left to right to see if you got the right number let's do that two hundred and fifty two thousand five hundred and twelve awesome and a super difficult one but why is partitioning numbers helpful well let's have a look again at a simple one let's have a look at 25 and i'm going to break it into a 5 and a 20 and let's imagine i had a question like 25 plus 73 and i didn't want to do this using column method. I want to just do it quickly in my head or using a different strategy. So I could get my 73 
and I can remember that that is now a 3 and a 70. And now all I would need to do is add these numbers together, which would be much easier. And I'm going to do this in a strategy. I'm going to add my 20 to my 70. That equals 90. Then I'll add my 5. That equals 95. Then I'll get my 95. And I'll finally add my 3. And that equals 98. So partitioning numbers is an awesome way to help you do things like addition or even multiplication. But we'll get to that in another lesson. Your turn. Have a go at partitioning this number, 7,521. Use the same strategy, partition the number, and put your answer in the comment section. Okay, there you go, guys. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, think about subscribing to the channel or share this video with a friend. But for now, guys, I'm going to say peace out and see you in another video. Peace.